Hey, what's going on guys, Nick here, and unfortunately for many of you Apple fans who tout that the company's largest selling point is the Mac's inability to contract viruses, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. While Apple generally has an incredibly adept software team that makes sure your Mac is secure and under lock and key, two researchers have pointed out five PC vulnerabilities that also leave your Mac hardware out in the open by attacking a firmware that survives against OS reinstallation and system wipes. Are the days of Apple finally leading the pack when it comes to incorruptible firmware over? Let's find out. Now before we discuss the vulnerability in particular that we're dealing with, it's very important that you guys understand the difference between hardware, software, and firmware. Hardware is the arrangement of parts that comprise your device. It's purely and undeniably physical. Software, on the other hand, is loaded from storage into your computer's operating memory and can be changed at will. These are the types of applications you download and use on a daily basis. And finally, firmware. It's a special class of software that is not intended to be changed once your device has shipped. This kind of software includes the BIOS or boot code of your computer, the kind of pro software processing technology that powers your TV and your microwave. The worm that the researchers discovered is a malicious software that attacks your computer's firmware that is tied directly to your hardware components, meaning that even after you do a complete OSX restore and system wipe, you're still vulnerable to attack. The reason why firmware bugs are so dangerous is because firmware cannot be erased and it isn't stored on your central hard drive. Computers require some sort of binary instruction to tell your hardware components what to do, and it's this firmware that acts as the intermediary communicator. That being said, firmware is rarely changed and it's arguably the most important part of your computer. And the worst news of all, if your firmware needs to be updated, it's the current version of that firmware that must conduct the update, meaning that if you've already been infected, that bug isn't going anywhere. These types of firmware attacks are so common because manufacturers don't usually safeguard their firmware. An attacker could easily target the flash framework of your Mac through an email or phishing website and eventually make that malicious code find its way into your computer's peripherals like a USB drive or Thunderbolt extension so that whenever they're plugged into another computer, the virus can slowly spread and make its way to every device in your home. The good news though guys is that Apple has since been hard at work after the discovery of these vulnerabilities and claims that two of them have been completely nullified, though the other three are still at large for now. That being said, details are going to be discussed at this week's Black Hat conference where the researchers are expected to release tools on how to check for infection. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Click down below for more on the story. Please follow me on Twitter, subscribe, like the video, it really helps out the channel. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.